Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the match reaction. Arsenal nil, Everton nil. Shock result for the Toffees today at the Emirates. Uh, great point, really. Obviously, it was a game that none of us expected much from. Arsenal going for the league or certainly up there at the top end of the table and Everton towards the bottom end. And Yeah, I mean, it's like I say, it, it's a really good defensive performance, as in we've done well. You know, I think Arsenal... I've dominated the game, of course. You'd expect that Everton end with 23% possession and two attempts at goal uh, with none on target. Um, and Arsenal are well into the double figures. But it was up to them to break Everton down today and they weren't, they weren't good enough to do it. And I think Sean Dyche, uh, Ian Wong, Steve Stone, will be delighted to grab that point there because Jordan Pickford's made a couple of good saves. But, you know, ones I think you'd expect to make you know, one in either half, big one, certainly the one at the start of the second half, I think it might have been from Saka at the near post, really good save, spread himself on one from Odegaard in the first half, got his feet in the way of crosses, and um, other than that, being quite comfortable for him. Uh, we didn't have Dwight McNeil in the side today, the manager um, brought Jack Harrison in for McNeil's absence, and... Everton, Everton started okay in the game, to be honest. We, we knew exactly what it was going to be like. It was going to be a case of Arsenal are going to have all the ball. We're going to make sure we've got bodies behind the ball. And we tried to break and counter-attack, and that's what we tried to do. But we did have a really good opportunity in the first half with Ab for Abdelaide Corey, like really good. Good break, good ball. Dom done well. Laid it off Mangala, good ball into the Corey. And he's in, and he should really try and bend it in the far corner with his right foot. But he waits and hesitates because he's going to hit it with his left. And by the time the ball gets to him because he's hesitated so much, Gabriel's able to throw his body in the way and, OK, deflect it behind for the corner. But he should have gone across the goalkeeper. And who knows, Everton, we might have put Everton one up front and it's a different game than taking the lead in it. Other than that, we had nothing. Whenever we... The old time he did get forward, there was nothing. You know, Dom was outnumbered or we, the, the final ball wasn't good enough. And that's something we've got to be better at. And I don't know whether that's change of, whether that's coaching, whether it's quite simply um, new better players. I don't know. I don't know. The way we play isn't designed for that. It's designed for corners and set pieces and defending the way we did and that really today I'm not going to be critical of that today because that was what today called for today called for being resolute uh, being able to stop Arsenal off their set pieces the brilliance at it and that did look I think for them if you're them going for the Premier League title you're looking and thinking got to win this game you know they had an opportunity last weekend with Liverpool game being off they went to Fulham they had a great opportunity to go to Fulham and, and grab another, you know, grab well, grab three points back on Liverpool as it happened. And only it was only one. They threw that away, and today they've had the opportunity again at home to go. We've got to make sure that we do what we're doing to put the pressure on Liverpool and and make them do um, what they need to do. And and they haven't. And I think their best way of scoring today looks at pieces as well, and that. That's great that you've got that weapon and they are brilliant at it and they're very inventive at it. But I think the Arsenal fans and I think Mikel Arteta will be really disappointed from their perspective that they didn't cut Everton open more and the final ball wasn't good enough. But who cares? That's them. It's This is about us. And Everton defended that well and Everton deserve credit for that. And the coaching staff and the manager deserve credit for the work they've done in the week to make sure that Arsenal didn't have easy passes, easy balls. In behind, okay, they got in, they got in a few times, and okay, they made the wrong decision. But good players will create those moments. You can't keep them down to nothing. It's virtually impossible to keep a side as good as Arsenal to no chances at all. But Everton limited them to very little, really. I think, like I said before, the block from Pickford from Odegaard, and I think it was Odegaard. There might have been Tarkovsky as well. You know, Pickford's the save at the start of the second half, the one with his feet from Saka. Other, other than that, they've got in each other's way. We've got blocks in. Or it's been a, a, a comfortable save for Jordan Pickford, one that you would expect them to make. And I think that is, that's where the credit is due. I think they all, as a back four, 
think Brantwaite had a couple of wobbly moments with with passes that went astray, and he's needed is uh, he's needed Jordan Pickford to get him out of it, and he did do. So he's got to sort that out. Jan uh, Jan what a name. Uh, Brantwaite got to sort that out. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think Everton defended it really well, and. It's a platform to take forward, isn't it? It's obviously two clean sheets now following that absolutely pathetic display at Old Trafford from a defensive perspective. They've bounced back with two clean sheets. Big game next week, tough game next week. Chelsea at home and Manchester City away. But if they can defend as resolutely as they did today, then who knows what happens? You know, it was a... Again, you come into these games and, OK, we got the luxury... If you like, have stormed Dara, making sure the the Merseyside derby didn't go ahead last week. So we're still feeling good after the Wolves win, and but that's the Liverpool game is will be played in February or something now. So that's a you know a defeat at United, a win against Wolves, and a point at Arsenal. So can we can we win another game? That's the big question. We still you know as good a point as that is today. Ipswich have won at Wolves, which means you know. They're on 12 points now, so that's not ideal. 1-1 it was for a, the, the Ipswich have won it in the 94th minute. 1-1 for a while, that one, that looked like a great result um, with them two playing each other. But obviously, Wolves have uh, gone down to another defeat and that'll probably be the end of Gary O'Neill. So, they might get a little kick from that Ipswich doing a looping last season. He won't lie down. I think they'll give everybody a right good go. Whether the quality is there or not at the end, we'll see. Leicester have been pumped up at Newcastle, which is always good um, when teams around you are getting beat. And so for us, we've just got to try to keep having points. But it, we've got to win some games. We've played 15 matches and we've won three times. That's just not good enough. It's not good enough. So we've got to start getting some of these wins on the board. And Chelsea are home next week. It'll be a really difficult game because they, who knows what team they'll put out. They play different teams all the time because they've got such such quality. So that'll be a really tough one. But it's at home with the crowd. And, you know, the new owners will be confirmed next week. So that might give the place a little bit of a boost as well. And we'll have to go out and make sure we defend properly against them. They're, they're very good away from home. Chelsea scored a lot of goals. So we'll have to defend the way we've done today. But, you know, we might... Let's have a bit more quality going the other way and... If we do, who knows? We could end up getting um, a nice win just before Christmas. And then you go to City, then, and you're, you're off the back of a, another positive result. But we do need to, get a, we need to get a couple of wins on that board as soon as possible. Forest after City, which, again, is another really tough game. So we knew these, these fixtures were difficult. We knew it was going to be... It could be a scarce point to return, but we've got four out of the last nine. In December, so let's see if we can get that win. Like I say, against Chelsea today is a, is a good result, um, given who we were playing, the nature of it. Man of the match for me, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna go with Jordan Pickford. I think I thought about Tarkovsky because I thought he did really well today. Thought probably one of his best games for a while. But I thought Jordan Pickford. He's no one else is really the key has been key for me in. in Everton getting that point today, but Jordan Pickford was with a couple of saves, so that's why I'm giving it to Jordan Pickford. He is my man of the match. Uh, there you go. Make sure you check out Ped's instant match reactions, player ratings. My three things will be out in a bit as well. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend, and uh, have a good night. See you later.